Hey everyone, Larry Chen here. Welcome to another episode of Hoonigan Autofocus. We're at Superlap Battle at Circuit of the Americas in Texas, and we are featuring as many Time Attack cars as possible. Uh, this car really, really caught my eye. This um, Evo built by Tim. Hi, Tim. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hello. hello. Um, this uh, really caught our eye because it, it seems like you did so much to it to, I guess, keep it pure. I mean, it doesn't really have a livery. It, it, it doesn't. S simple is better. <laughs> simple is better, but you're running, w what class are you running in? Limited class. It, it honestly looks like a, still like a street car. Yes. I mean, yeah. I guess that's your point, right? That's the point. Yeah. I mean, technically it's still registered and it still has insurance on it. So given the headlights are not there, but I mean, you could take it on the street if you wanted to. Okay. So what's the story of this car? How did you obtain it? Um, what did it start life as, et cetera? So bought a brand new in 2006, graduated college, got a job. It was my first stupid impulse buy. Um, call, called up the dealership, said, Hey, I want a graphite gray Evo 9 MR. What do you got? And he said, well, what kind of payments can you make? So I threw out the number, said, well, let me, let me, let me run some things. He called me back. He's, he got it under uh, 60 cents under what I said. And I said, sold. And I hopped on a flight and I drove it home. I drove it home. And that's what kind of started all of this. Started life as a street car and has slowly over the course since 2006 morphed into this. I didn't think that existed. Like one owner, <laughs> I didn't think one owner <laughs> Evo's one over one owner evos didn't exist and also another thing is this is um a prime example of like a, um of a listing that you would see on craigslist <laughs> barely modified you know can be easily returned back yes. to stock it only has twenty seven thousand miles on it yeah, yeah see low miles low miles low barely miles, modified original paint never seen tracked ne no, never never just never, street never driven tracked. only no, street grandma street going yep. to the grocery store exactly exactly <laughs> Um, but I think that's pretty cool. It's kind of like um, you have this uh, uh, love affair with this car I to do. the point where you're, you're, I guess you're the type of owner that I can really relate to. It's a problem of mine where I feel like I fall in love with the car too much and I can't let it go, right? So yeah. I'm sure maybe there was one point where you were thinking, hey, maybe it might be good to move on to another Absolutely. car. And that was, that was after we had a little issue at Button Willow with uh, Global Time Attack. It was in the heat of the moment, frustration thing. We're driving home. He's like, you know what? I'm sick of this car, this and that. But it only took me, oh, I don't know, half a day to realize that's just, that was my frustration and she's not going anywhere. <laughs> well, let's take a look around it and let's do a little walk. Um, what was your inspiration with this build? To look like it could go to Japan and turn some laps at Scuba and fit right in and not question that it's from the U.S. Honestly, minus you know, it's, it's left-hand drive and all that stuff. But you know, try to try to stick true to to Japanese companies. Um, full Voltex Aero, you know, Volk wheels. Yeah, real, all real parts, and also it just looks amazing. I mean, everything seems like it flows. So all of this is what, who makes so, this? So this stuff? is homemade. So okay. everything on this car is done in my shop, paint work, body work, RS motors in, uh, in uh, Minnesota. They build my motors for me. Uh, my tuner, Evan from Arizona does the tuning, but pretty much everything else is in my little garage and my friends, we just wrench. Um, don't have it. Don't have a huge budget. It, but it's not really your home shop. It's your garage. It's my garage. This is a garage built car. This is a garage built car. Absolutely. Yeah. No, no major sponsors, you know, to back it. So, um, you know, we, we do what we can do, but yeah, I mean like the splitter, you know, go to the sign shop, 80 bucks, you know, I would love a carbon fiber splitter. Not quite there yet. The thing is I've seen cars like this, mini cars, even Evos, specifically Evos that are driving on the street, potentially with this kind of arrow, with this wheel setup, but they just don't actually drive them on the track like you do. When you pass by us, when we were trackside here at Coda, and when you passed by us, it was earth shattering. It was insane. It was insane. And it, it was almost weird in that I looked at it and I didn't think that the noise came from this thing because it looks pretty subtle. I mean, other than- I mean, 
other than this sticker and of course Yokohama tire which you I think you have to right. put on because of the series Correct. but is this kind of your brand here yeah this is just our we formed it in 2003 this is true form if you look back I, there. we got a peanut gallery over here <laughs> That, that, that's a crew. In 2003, um, we're from a small town in New Mexico, Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, we were all into Japanese cars. Um, we, we, we watched option videos. We had option mags. We, we watched VHS option videos. So we were all in love with Japanese cars. And, and where we lived, it was all muscle cars. Uh, very rare did you see a clean Japanese car, um, you know, fitted right. And, and, and so... Our, our crew, we just kind of, we went from there and, and we've just been evolving from there from 2003. So that's where we're here now, still wasting money. <laughs> um, can we take a look at the engine bay and then we'll, I think we'll talk about the rest of the arrow. So who actually makes this? So this is a Saibon hood. So okay. this is the only non Voltex piece on the car. Um, oh, which I have to point out um, your sticker. Where yeah. did you get that? Where did you get that sticker? God, well, Speed Hunters back, I don't know how many years ago and I think it's part of the car now because of the heat. It's, it's, I don't think it's Yeah, you can't anywhere. actually take it off. No, no. Um, so, uh, I don't know if you know or not, uh, that is a book, Maximum Attack. Yeah, right, a book, right. And it was basically 90% my pictures. Fantastic. In that book. Fantastic. Just have to throw it out there. Cool. I'm sorry. Cool. Guys. But um, I, I, I like that. You know, that's um, just a saying that I think it's all you. It's your Maximum Attack. You're not... You know, just putt putting around. Oh no, track. it's it's. I was telling them when I when I got back into the pits because we did a session and I did a session pretty quick. Like I was mentally <laughs> and physically drained. I, I'm, this is the first time I've ever been to this track, so a lot of learning going in. And um, you know, at this horsepower level and, and arrow, it's it's not putting. It's you're it's full on, and you have to focus. And it's a wild ride. <laughs> Well, okay, so tell me about the power plant. It's a 2-2, two -two, two -two stroker, forged internals, K1 crank, CP pistons, original head to the car. So this is the original head to the car. It's been ported, polished, um, upgraded springs, cams like that, but original original head to the car. I and think just, that's also just as rare yeah, as and just, one owner. Ju just recently, this was on the original block up until about two months ago when we discovered some cracks, um, spider webbing on the head. So. It was it was it was original block and head for the past many many years, which attests to my tuner keeping the car alive for that long and beating and beating it that hard. So well, because when you say twenty seven thousand miles, most of those are track miles. Most of those are track miles. Yeah, most of those are track miles. So the car's gone through many different variations, but mostly track miles. Yes. And then okay, so um, have you put this on an all wheel drive dyno? We haven't had a chance to. This has been kind of a scramble. Um, we're going to get it on probably within the next month or two. We got to get it on and fine tune. What does it make? What does it make? Uh, 600. Over 600. Yeah. I would, I'd, I'd, I'd guesstimate 650 ish. Yeah. Judging by my trap speed and my gearing, I would say we're around probably 650 or so. Okay. I'll take that. Um, this, all of this. Full race yeah, um, so, so, noodles here. Yeah, Tell so, me about so yeah. Full race uh, T4 twin scroll manifold, 40 40 millimeter to, uh, twin external gates. Uh, the turbo is on the relative small, probably the small one of the smallest turbos here actually. Um, my home track that we race at is a very tight small course. We focus on you know instant boost. So this turbo is a 7670 EFR uh, Borg Warner. Um, so in the scheme of turbos, when you look around, it's actually pretty baby, but um, response is good. So it would, further development down the line, we would love a bigger turbo for a track like this. But it jams out, super, uh, super responsive. We, uh, we were shooting for like 32 pounds or so this weekend for max boost. Um, it's just so clean. The, everything, the, the, the plumbing, um, just the heat shielding, all the little things that matter, I guess. And I get that from my dad. I get that from my dad. He was very meticulous in the sense of, he always, he, he always said, if you're gonna do it, do it right. It's a cheesy motto that people say all the time, but I, I really do try to focus and if you're gonna do it, do it right. Um, even if you don't have a huge budget, you can still do things right. You know what I mean? You, you, you don't have to have a massive budget to, to, to run clean lines, to, to properly heat shield something, or you know, to make a splitter. You, you, there, there, there's ways of doing stuff without you know, pouring your pockets out, so. 
I love the carbon headlight too. It completely reminds me of like the Cyber Evo. That was my hero car. That's what ultimately got me into Time Attack was the Cyber Evo. That's what made me want an Evo and that's kind of what got me into Time Attack was the Cyber Evo. So. And then it inspired you to, to build it, this crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, everything is so clean, including like I mean, yeah, it's just cheap plastic from, yeah, I for mean. For whatever reason, it just works. I mean, it all, all flows really nice. Tell me about the rest of the arrow. So like what, what so makes so these So yeah, so so Voltex, Voltex Fender, and then this is a Voltex Cyber Cyber Evo extension. So that actually goes on top of over fender, over fender, over fender. Voltex side skirts, um, Voltex rear, Voltex rear, uh, rear flares, and then the over fenders. Um, we did have a Voltex wing at one point. Um, it wasn't chassis mounted. Um, got a good deal from Tony Zerka, which helps us run the super lap battle. He had this on his Evo, so we switched to this. Um, and then, like the weave oh, on this is yeah. unbelievable. I just can't. It, it's. Um, I've never seen anything like it's it. Cubert, uh, triaxid, yeah, triaxid. Tri yeah, Cubert. Yeah, trying. that's what everyone says. Yeah, it looks like Cubert. Yeah. Cubert. Yeah. It's so cool. It like changes as you move. It's kind of amazing. Um, so yeah, is it just for rigidity or just for looks or? A little bit of both. I mean, mainly for me, like I say, I like, it functions obviously, but um, yeah, it also looks amazing. <laughs> so a little bit of both, a little bit of both. There's just certain things, um, including like you have this third brake light or is this like yeah, a rain just, light? Yeah. Yeah, so just recently, um, just this past, before, before this event about two weeks ago, um, we had a Voltex diffuser on it. So we're just trying to find ways to, to you know, make it a little faster in a straight line. We felt like it is probably hindering us because it's not. It's a street. It's a street diffuser, so not technically a, a, a race diffuser. So did a lot of chopping. You know, cut these holes, cut the bumper. Um, I think it turned out good. I, I like the look. I made the exhaust, um, welded up the exhaust, not the muffler, but did all the exhaust work in my shop and everything, including underneath, is super clean. I can't believe you built this in your garage. Huh, tell me about the suspension here. Uh, suspension, we are on Fortune two-way uh, dreadnoughts, 12K in the front, 14K in the rear. Amazing, car handled absolutely amazing. We ran out of tires at the end of the day here. Tires were limiting for me today. Um, the suspension, totally, totally amazing. So we're, we're like I said, this is, a, this is a pretty fresh build. It hasn't been on track for about almost two years now, so. It's kind of some teething pains today, but we every session we made we made progress. So, but yeah. Can we check out the interior? Yeah, of course. So the so the so the cage the cage is built by my buddy in his barn. Brought materials over in my Ford truck, dropped them off one weekend, and he banged out a cage for me. Um, you know, gave him some uh, some you know, hey, we need to make it to this spec, and you know. So yeah, even the even the cage is done by my buddy in a, in a barn. It looks good. Yeah, it no, looks I stout. mean, yeah, no, it's yeah, it could. Uh, I don't ever want to have to use it, but if I did, I'd have I'd have faith in it. Yeah, interior. I mean, pretty simple, you know, Recaro seat, um, just little doodads, like little stuff to try to clean it up, um, you know. Yeah, it the still is it. a street car. Yeah, yeah. So you know, flock the dash and. So is that the original shifter? So yeah, so original original H pattern five speed. My dad actually made these. We just put them in the lathe and just just raise it up for for uh, just to bring the height up. Typical, um, you know, I got two fire bottles, you know, dry sump system. It, it's and it's the stock transmission too. It is. It's a it's a TRE built um, stock transmission. No 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 cut gears. Um, yeah. So it's a, just a five speed. You know, beefed up, but as much as you can beef them up, but. It's kind of amazing to me that it can handle that kind of power. Yes, TRE, TRE. He, he's actually um, he's built. Um, so I have I have my front uh, transfer case from him, transmission, and my rear diff um, from him. So he's a he's a solid dude. Kind of a kind of one of those guys too. Like kind of a small time guy, um, does a, does a lot of stuff. But he's one of those types of guys. You call him up and makes it happen. So pretty crazy. This is super neat too. This is just bolted to the cage. Yeah, so we were having oiling issues back in the day, um, and it was just kind of the next logical move for, for the engine was to take take the initial bite of huge money and, and put it towards, you know, longevity of the car, and so we went dry sump, and that's kind of my whole, that's my whole focus on the car, um, is, is to try to build a bulletproof car, um, just try to focus on areas that, that 
make it bulletproof. Um, no time attack car is bulletproof because we're pushing them to extremes. But um, that's the goal with this car, super clean and try to try to make it bulletproof. Yeah, I mean, aesthetically speaking, this is so good looking too. Every single aspect that you've massaged and everything come together for it to, to just have that look. Um, I, I saw you have that sticker, you know, lower your race car in the back. <laughs> Exactly. Um, There's exactly. Nothing, nothing worse than super tall race cars. That's what I say. Yeah, it looks oh, yeah. great. Thank you. It's just a well put together car. I appreciate it. This is absolutely insane. Yeah, so that's made by uh, AJ Hartman. He's he's a guy off the East Coast um, that does Samaro. Professional, awesome. They're they're amazing dudes in the time attack field. Um, you know, call them up. Um, you know, I'm running their their splitter their splitter um, supports, their tunnels underneath. Those guys are always willing to help. Hey, you know, what do you think about placement of, of, of this tunnel? And that's what I love about the Time Attack community. Everyone's super friendly, willing to help. Tell me about the uh, wheel and tires. Stuff. So uh, the wheels are T37 super laps. They're 18 by 11 plus plus 18 um, and we, we do run a 18 millimeter spacer on them kind of it it, it fills it fills out the, the the wheel wells but as you can see in the back we <laughs> we still got we still got plenty of room to stuff more tire in it um, kind of limited in this class with the tire sizing we have to run the Yokohama AO 52s which are amazing tires but we are limited on sizes they offer right now so um, 295 the biggest tire I could stuff under here right now probably it, we could get bigger but like I say we're uh, we're kind of we're trying to get back on the saddle here, so so this setup works good for us. Yeah, it looks great. All of it is uh, really well put together. Thank you so much for bringing this out. Thanks for letting us shoot it, and it, honestly, it was a pleasure to see it go around the track. Awesome. Thank you for supporting the community and doing stuff like this. We yeah, <laughs> you you saw the other cars here this weekend, right? If I took a really tight photo and I didn't show anything in the background. If I, if I shot a, a picture of your car or a picture of the Spoon car mm -hmm. and then also the HPI Racing Subaru, um, you would have, like, it, you could have, it could have been from another era, that's, you know? That's, that's, it could have been that's what we're working to, that's in what Japan we're working. Yeah. at Fuji Sp Speedway or awesome. something. That's a compliment. And yeah, I, I think that's the, that's the major fun compliment. part about it. That's the cool thing about the Time and Tech community, especially here in um, the States. It's it's a such a mixing pot, right? I'm, look, oh, look, absolutely! Look, look what's over there! Oh no! Yeah. Get this crazy yeah. viper that is earth-shattering loud, yeah. right? And then you got Ferris's 1,000 horsepower Corvette. You got over there Jackie Deans. Yeah, no, <laughs> it's know? that's 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 the the awesomeness of Time Attack, man. It, I mean, it it all sorts of cars. Um, but but the the main thing about it is, is just like seriously, honestly, everybody's willing to help, man. Everybody is totally willing to help, and I love it, man. I'm gonna stay at it as long as I can, for sure. Well, thanks again. I think that's a wrap. We're gonna keep shooting more cars. Oh my God! Oh, look who it is, Mr. Kaufman. Missing missing your beard, Mr. man. Mr. Kaufman, making an appearance on Autofocus. How are you doing? Sir, this What's up, is brother? it's going on. Good. This is not main channel Hoonigan. This is uh, Hoonigan Autofocus. So it's a step down. You shouldn't be on this channel. You should be on the main channel. I like this channel. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. What's up, Autofocus? <laughs> well, uh, how are you? Good, good. Busy rolling around on the floor. Came out to support my boys from life. Uh, brought Sydney out. Sydney got a new heart, like everything, last minute. But here it is. And a little bit of trouble yesterday, but the boys put it together and had one lap left in it and I put it out there and as we're about to see, set a new record, class leader, still reigning champ. Woo! Well, it's always Way good to go to life, you. way to go Cole. Yeah, it's always good to see you. Yeah. Hopefully uh, we'll be photographing you soon. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully I'll get something fast coming up. Bye. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was cool. Just a superstar just walking in front right, of our, right. just walking into you can frame. Tell, you can tell he's used to being in front of I go like I'm this, like I'm like, hey. <laughs> I'm like talking to you and it's like, oh, look, look at that Mr. Kaufman's right here. He's like, yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> cool, um, but yeah, no, really. Thank you. I just, I love this car so much. It's just makes sense. And like you said, Cyber Evo, uh, very inspiring for me too. You know, watching best motoring, oh, yeah. watching oh, uh, yeah. top version, mm -hmm. watching uh, all of those time attack reports, right? Oh, from yeah. Tsukuba oh, yeah. um, with uh, Suchia, Gongsang mm -hmm. and Arito and the gang. It's yeah, just, yeah. just 
And I, I, uh, of course, Tainaguchi behind the wheel, right? Um, just so cool. I, I had to. I had a Tanaguchi sticker on my car actually, but I had to take it off because it was all chipped. But yeah, he's another guy that love. <laughs> so uh, do you, uh, the Cyber Evo, you know they turn it into a propane car. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's very odd. Was it, or no, that was the HKS? Was it the HK? Oh, it was the HKS car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. the CT, the, yeah. They were the same era. Though. Yeah, they were, and that car was, yeah, yeah. that car was amazing, yeah. I think uh, we'll move on and shoot some other cars, but that's a wrap. Thank you so much. Yeah.